We're going to make wings for Super Bowl and we're going to bake them and then we're going to fry them so that they're crispy and crunchy and delicious. So I already have mine seasoned and I've got them prepped so that it would be easier to show you what the next step is. I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees. You're going to bake your oven, your wings in the oven for 20 minutes at 350. Then you're going to turn them, let them bake for another 25 minutes, pull them out and then you're going to drop them in the deep fryer before you sauce them. So I'm going to turn to my pan here so that you can see what I have going on. And here are my wings. I put my cast iron skillet in the oven while it was preheating just so that the skillet itself is already warm. It, it wasn't as hot as I wanted it to be, but I want to get these in the oven. Usually I like to let the bottom get nice and crispy but I'm just gonna line this. You can use a cookie sheet. I'm just a cast iron skillet weirdo because I like everything to go in the one pan <clears throat> so I don't have to dirty multiple pans. If you don't have cast iron, use a cookie sheet. It works just fine. You just wanna make sure that um, it's not a good baking sheet because you'll get lots of juice and uh, chicken grease. So these uh, I used for the rub salt, sea salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, paprika, and a little bit of uh, oregano, and a little bit of cumin. Just a, and when I say a little bit, I mean okay. So let me give you some. I don't. People don't cook like that, Kelly. Fuck. Okay. Um, I would say do a make make your seasoning separately before you put it on your chicken, so you don't overdo it. Do a tablespoon of salt. Do um, two teaspoons of black pepper. Do uh, two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Do two teaspoons of garlic powder. A teaspoon of oregano. A half teaspoon of cumin. Mix all of that together and then rub it all over your meat. I didn't do it on camera because I was afraid people were gonna think dirty things about me. But just take all of those seasonings together. If you wanna add other seasonings or take away any of those things that you can, but those are the things that I used. And if you use that combination, that'll get your wings nice and flavorful. So make sure that both sides are heavily seasoned so that um, every bite has good flavor. And you're gonna put these in the oven, like I said, for three at 350 for 20 minutes. We're gonna set the timer in 20 minutes. It's gonna go off and I'm gonna flip these over and let them cook on the other side before we drop them in oil and dip them in sauce. We'll be back. My timer just went off and I think I need to correct myself. I let these wings cook. Ooh, there's some steam. I let these wings cook for 25 minutes. And then I'm going to let them cook for another 20. I think I said that opposite. Oh, I should have used two hands. But, um, I'm superwoman sometimes, but I'm not that super. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take these, grab a pair of tongs. See how they're already sizzling and they're nice and crispy on the outside? I'm going to flip these over for every one of these wings. Uh, get them all flipped over. I'm going to put this back in for 20 minutes. And then we're going to pull them out and drop them in the fryer and dip them in sauce. We'll be back. I've got all my wings turned over the opposite direction. I'm going to put them back in the oven at 350 for 20 more minutes. And then all we're going to do is drop them in some hot oil, let them fry for five minutes, drizzle your favorite, or dip them in your favorite sauce, and they're ready to go. I'll be right back. Ooh, those came out and they are pretty. I have a couple of them sticking though and that sucks except that it, I know they're done because that is tender fall apart deliciousness. Um, but I'm going to let them sit before I try and pull them because I don't want them to come apart. And I'm going to set up my Dutch oven with some vegetable oil for frying in. And I realized I had some leftover cauliflower, so I'm going to do some quick beer batter deep fried cauliflower so I can use my oil wisely. So you'll get two with one. I'll be right back. Bonus item. I have leftover cauliflower from dinner last night and it's still raw and it's cut into pieces. And since I'm going to fill my Dutch oven with oil and do deep frying, I don't want to waste the oil and I can do an extra snack. And so I'm gonna do a beer battered, deep, beer battered deep fried cauliflower, super quick. So I have two cups of flour and three fourths cups of cornstarch in here. The cornstarch helps make sure that you get nice crispy batter. 
I'm gonna pour in some garlic powder. It's probably about a tablespoon. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of sea salt. Mm, two teaspoons of sea salt. And then I'm gonna do at least a teaspoon of smoke, uh, do two teaspoons of smoked paprika. And then a half teaspoon of chili powder. And just two little dashes of cayenne pepper. And grab a whisk and just mix all these dry ingredients together. You wanna make sure that all the seasonings and your cornstarch and your flour are mixed together. Now, I'm gonna go put beer in this. If you have bottled beer, you're gonna use probably a bottle of beer for this. Uh, go slowly and you can add beer in um, or you can uh, use more than one beer, but you wanna make sure that your consistency is right. So start slow with your beer and add more. So I'm gonna have David follow me so I can get some beer so you can see the consistency and you can decide if you want to add beer to your flour mixture or flour to your beer mixture. I'm just lucky because I can do it this way. But I'm gonna mix this so that you can watch. You can use any beer you want. This is a, a Ziegenbach. It's got a little bit of a dark to it. Um, any deep frying, I love to use dark beer. Sometimes he has IPAs in here and you do onion rings or, oh my God, it's delicious. Um, but even just like if just a cheap domestic beer, I've had Michelob Ultra in here. Everything works for cooking for beer. Um, I make beer bread sometimes, but I do love beer batter for onion rings, for any deep fried vegetable. We're not doing anything keto today, guys. It's Super Bowl. So I'm just going to keep adding beer. David's probably sitting here counting the ounces that I'm dumping in my mixture here. This is way too thick. You want it to where when you dip your cauliflower, it's just going to have a nice coating. Now I'm making a mess. Sorry, I'll come back and clean this. I'm going to keep adding beer. I'm going to cut the camera away just for the sake of time and then I'll come back when it's the right consistency so you can see what it should look like. Okay, we're back and it's okay if you have lumps in there. You're never going to get it perfect, but this is about the consistency that you want it so that it'll coat that cauliflower nicely without um, being too thick because then that'll just completely overtake the vegetable. So we're gonna go back, I'm gonna set up the deep fryer and we will fry some cauliflower first and some wings right behind it for our midday snack before we get to our pizza. Let's deep fry this cauliflower. Um, I'm gonna show you, I did add some flour to it. I poured some flour in the bag and shook it around just to lightly coat the cauliflower. It's been washed and chopped. Hold on just a second. So I washed and chopped the cauliflower. I added about a half a cup of flour into the top of the bag and just eyeballed it and I shook it around. And here is my uh, beer batter. You'll notice the color's orangish. That's from your paprika and your chili powder. If you're brave, taste it a little bit. You want a little bit of salty, uh, smoky, peppery flavor to it. If you don't want to taste it, just go with my measurements and experiment. So just go ahead and dump your floured cauliflower right there into your beer batter mixture. And I'm actually gonna take this whisk out and grab a different spoon. And just make sure that this is all mixed together because I want this cauliflower nice and coated. And I'm gonna pick this up in pieces and drop it into this hot oil. You wanna make sure it oils about 350 degrees and um, I do not have a thermometer in there, don't judge me, but I do this all the time and I can pretty much gauge and I have a test piece in there. I also normally only use vegetable oil for deep frying, but I didn't have enough, so I'm doing half vegetable, half uh, olive oil, so that's an experiment for me. Usually olive oil doesn't like that kind of temperature, but oh well. So I'm going to drop this in pieces into this hot oil and we're gonna let it crisp into yummy deliciousness and my little dog is in the way here so i'm just going to pick up some pieces it's okay to shake them off even if there's a little bit of batter missing from the cauliflower it's not going to hurt nobody ever turned away a deep fried treat so once these are done frying i'm going to clean this oil out and just to get the excess pieces of batter out of the oil and then I'm going to drop the wings just to crisp them up for about five minutes, toss them in the sauce and go. So it's game day and we've already had chili con queso. 
And now we're gonna snack on deep fried cauliflower and chicken wings, and then we're gonna have pizza this afternoon. So once I get this cauliflower going, it'll probably take it about eight to 10 minutes to fry. I'm just gonna watch the color, make sure that it's nice and golden brown before I pull it. So I'm just gonna keep dropping this in, and once I start to see a little bit of progress, I will come back so you can see what it looks like as it gets more cooked. We'll be back. All right, I'm gonna pull this first batch of cauliflower, and I just kept dropping it in. It stuck to the bottom at first, and then as soon as it got uh, hardened up a little bit, you can just break it free with your wooden spoon and just keep adding um, until your pot is full. Just it, it cooked for actually probably about six minutes uh, to this golden brown, and I do have one more pot to go. We were just talking about what to dip this in. Um, I like all kinds of things. David does not eat ranch, blue cheese, sour cream, cream cheese, or anything like that. Um, so I don't can't I don't make a lot of the traditional dips that people make. So we decided that he really just wants to dip his in uh, a wild sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings, and I'm good with that. I am going to take a traditional buffalo sauce, just a store bought and add a little bit of a sweet Thai chili to it because I want to see how it tastes. I'm not a big buffalo fan, but I like it a little sweeter. So I'm going to make that sauce on camera uh, with you. And actually, I'm going to come back. I'm going to drop this cauliflower in, and then I will make that sauce on camera with you. I'll be right back. All right, I'm just going to take a mild buffalo sauce from the store and throw a couple of tablespoons. I'm only going to eat two wings myself, so I'm not gonna get crazy with this. That's probably like three tablespoons. But I wanna see how this turns out because I may love it. And if I love it, I'll dip my cauliflower in it and I'll put my wings in it. This stuff for me is really spicy. It's just the sweet chili sauce, Thai sweet chili sauce. It's just a gourmet brand, sorry. Amelia's, Amelia's uh, wanting to be center of attention here. I don't mind spicy, but sometimes this stuff can be overkill. So I'm just gonna, t I'm the only one eating this, so I'm gonna lick the spoon here and see. Oh, I like what you've done here. It needs some more sweet. So this is doing a buffalo sauce with a little bit of a sweet heat to it, just to see if I don't like the Tabasco vinegar flavor. I think it's kind of nasty. I don't know how people love that. Okay, that just got better and better. I'm gonna keep going. You know what, it might be equal parts. Mild buffalo and Thai chili. I think this might be it. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, Amelia really, really has things to say. I'm gonna taste this. Well, that's good. You want to taste that? No, that's good. Okay, mild buffalo and any kind of Thai chili sauce is pretty bomb. We're going to use that for cauliflower dipping, and I'll be right back to do wings. This is the last of the cauliflower. All right, we got some serious grub going on here. So I have deep fried cauliflower, and then I have just um, buffalo wild wings, wild sauce. I mixed um, just a regular uh, buffalo sauce with um, some sweet chili and it was almost too hot for me. And I actually made it creamy by adding some mayonnaise and oh my God, that's delicious. So we have both of these sauces we're gonna use for wings and for cauliflower. My oil's nice and hot. I was gonna clean it out and I decided, fuck it, no I'm not. We're gonna just do this. So I'm gonna drop these wings in just for um, a quick crisp. I'm gonna put them all in this Dutch oven, and then I'm just gonna put them right back in this pan, except for the two I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna put them right back in this pan, and I'm gonna coat them in the wild sauce that David likes, and then I'm gonna separate out the two I want to eat. I'm gonna coat them in this funky sauce I just made, and we're gonna snack and get fat and happy so that we have no desire to eat pizza while I build pizza. And later on tonight, we'll have a couple different kinds of pizza and some cheesy bread rolls. I'm just gonna let these wings plump up in the fryer. They are pretty much cooked all the way through, but adding uh, the frying them adds to the layer of crispiness. I know everybody's air fryer crazy. I'm not, I'm old school, I'm traditional. I just wanna fry my wings. Um, if I'm gonna eat wings, I'm gonna eat wings. 
So let's see, these are probably going to sit here for at least three to five minutes. So I'm going to let these get a little bit crispy in this oil. And then when I transfer them back to put sauce on, I'll come back. All right, time to sauce the wings. They've been in that oil for about five minutes and they're nice and crispy. They're super reddish brown from the paprika. And then also I cooked the uh, cauliflower in here so the oil is heavily seasoned. So these are gonna be so yummy. I'm just gonna turn this off so it doesn't burn. So I'm gonna pull these out. I'm gonna separate two out for myself because I am just gonna do that um, creamy sauce that I made. But the rest is just going to have the Buffalo Wild Wings Wild Sauce. I feel like I should be should not be advertising for them. But it's specifically the only sauce that David eats. So there's nothing I can do to it except pour it on. Okay, let me see. I'm going to set two aside for me. And I'll let you, wa I'll let you watch me sauce that meat too. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to move that back out of the way. All right. I think I have another one of these. It's getting low. There's another one in there. Okay, I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit on each, and then I will use my brush and I'll toss it through. If you want more sauce, holler, because I'm gonna toss them in. But Amelia is super happy back there. can hear how crispy those are just with the seasoning. You can flour them and fry them if you want to do that, but I've noticed we tend to like our wings more naked, but with lots of flavor and seasoning. But I do like the crisp of a fried wing, so this is kind of the best of both worlds. Like I said, if you're looking for an air fryer recipe, I'm not your girl. I've done them. I don't really care. I really like them like this. Okay, I'm just gonna, do you want more sauce than that? No, that's good. Okay, so everything's been coated. Now, this is the same pan that I put those in the oven, and I am just gonna move them around just to pick up some of the yummy stuff and all the natural chicken. And I had David grab some paper plates, and we're, that's what we're doing, because I'm not gonna use a bunch of extra dishes we don't need. So here is a plate full of wings. And then he can add cauliflower to his, and then he has the, the same sauce to dip his cauliflower in. I'm gonna plate this up, and then we'll move over, and I'll do my other two little wings so you can see what those will look like. And so we're gonna have snacks while we think about making pizza. This is that sauce I made, and just those two wings I made for myself. It's light and kind of orange, so I'm just going to toss these in a separate bowl, and then I will plate these up. Looks like I need a little more. I'll probably use most of this sauce to dip cauliflower in, but I'll make myself a little mini plate. I eat like 40 times a day in very small increments. Okay, let me coat that really good. All right, so there's two different kinds of wings. I'll plate it up, and we will have snacks for game day.